the next one, by the way. All right, we're live. And it worked fine because of all the wow. hacking I did on my computer. Congratulations on your hacking. Yes. Very talented. Yeah, grass. <laughs> Someone's invited me to a co-op already. Oh man, you're so popular. Yeah. They already I know you're live. I was already full. I did like the recent co-op like yesterday. Someone was like asking me, they're like, yo, I'm having a hard time finding a room. Like, have you done it already? Like, can you help me? I'm just like, shit, man. I haven't even done it either. Let's just pop a times three book and do it together. <laughs> I probably have a bunch to do too. I didn't even. There's so many came out right next to each other. It's just the normal amount. Oh, I guess there was the extra one with the uh, three of Charlotta. Hmm. It felt like it was a pretty low amount that you needed to do. Like, I got them both, took them all done in two books each or so. Yeah. I made my game take up the whole screen and now I can't make it now I can't like change anything on it how to does anybody know how to fix that how do I fix that um hey, what was that? it's taking also the game's taking up my whole screen also tree void what's up tree Wait, void? on like your PC or yeah it's one of my screens on my PC. tree void with the sub they've subscribed for seven months tree void thank you so much we appreciate that we're going to add that to the uh, surprise uh, sub count for tonight to make me do something really stupid that I shouldn't do, but I've lost all sense. You of, should, I've you lost should not do it. Well, I'm going to do it if, if the people demand it. That's show business, baby. I'm just going to control, delete the game. Because it takes up my whole screen and I can't make it not. Uh-oh. All right, there we go. D Knight in the chat. What's up, D Knight? Oh, I gotta send out the the blurb. Damn it to hell. Damn it to hell. Let's see here. Boom. Oh, that's a... I'm getting really good at computers though. So I see. That's what's up. I mean, technology is advancing. <laughs> yeah. Do you know anybody who can uh, fucking hack into their device and alter the video drivers required? I don't know anybody who can do that. Nope. Nope. Well, Certainly now you know, not. Now you know life. one person who can. Raw life, baby. <laughs> Sounds like bullshit to me. I don't know. I made it work. But now my, now my camera doesn't work. <laughs> but we'll get there. I'll get there. I'll get it off. I'll get it all. I remember I tried altering something on my old computer, and it sounded like a fucking helicopter in my room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mine does that in my PlayStation 4. When, whenever I try to play Elden Ring or Bloodborne, it just starts going on, like it's about to fucking take off. Yeah. With like a race car just like in neutral and you're just like revving it up. <laughs> yep. Um there's one. Let's do uh this one here. What time is it? Eight thirty three. Beautiful. It's showtime. Showtime, baby. All right, let's fucking let's fucking rock, dude. Oh, I gotta start the game, huh? Can I hear anything? What? I can hear that? you. Yeah, we can you hear you. Be able to hear anything anyway. Doing something special for the intro. For my special boy. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. I turned the volume off on my game. All right, three, two, one. Hey, uh, welcome to the show, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. We did a little something special for the special boy this week. Uh, man with the machine gun. Shout out, Laguna. Uh, also, shout out, Dystopia Bard. We didn't forget about you, brother. We will be playing our normal intro next week. But I figured, you know, everybody's favorite machine gunner uh, got his BT, so we played his special song. Uh, I'm Raw Life. Welcome. Thank you guys for joining us. This is number... 37 this is uh live stream number 37 i am joined by as always uh the indescribable so maggie so maggie talk to the people yo how's everybody doing tonight i'm eating a piece of chocolate my picture is growing so i'm afraid you guys can hear me eating it so i'm gonna um <laughs> swallow that whole that's show business, baby. Wait, that's your solution to the problem? Yeah, I cut. <laughs> it's gone now, but I just saw my picture lighting up, so I was like, oh, they're definitely here to meet you. So we just swallowed it. We're good. Um, Sun Bro, did you have a good weekend? Uh, it was <laughs> quite good. I got both last Friday and today off of work, which was fantastic. You got four days off for Easter? Yeah, I did. Phenomenal. Did you guys get spring break? What's your spring break? It was last month. Phenomenal. Uh, Blind Eye. Blind Eye is in the house. How are you doing, Blind Eye? Uh, good evening. I'm doing well. Hope everyone is uh, doing well this Monday evening. Yes, yes. Uh, I, before I get started, I got to make a little uh, announcement here. If we get 25 subs tonight, one night only, I will gem pity Irvine before we get off this stream. Um, I shouldn't do Why? It because it's for fun. It's for the people. It gets the people going. And uh, shout out Treevoid who subscribed before we started. Uh, uh, Treevoid, we really appreciate you. Thank you. Um, if we get 25, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go for it. Jim, Jim Pool, or Jim Pity, Irvine. Um, he does lots of good stuff, right? I mean, <laughs> well, he's got a gun. I guess a discussion we, we for do. later on, perhaps. We'll, we'll go with that, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know how to make it. I don't, know, I don't know how to make it come up on the screen, but you'll just have to believe us. We'll, we're at one. We're at one. Uh, Leafblade says, "Raw, you're looking very kampachi this evening." Yeah, I. There was a lot of drama last week with my computer. <laughs> I don't know if you guys drama or, or not. Big drama. It was a huge drama between me and my computer. But, luckily, Jesus Christ, Tree Void's already at 6 for the, for the evening. Tree Void wants oh, to see me go my. broke. Uh, shout out, Tree Void. Thank you so much, man. Uh, five more gifted subs. Wow. Uh, six on the evening uh, in our uh, never-ending chase for Irvine uh, LD. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, I couldn't get my computer to run. And, luckily, I uh, taught myself, self-taught, uh, went into my game, like, changed all sorts of stuff, downloaded um, drivers. I just basically hacked the mainframe on my system, and uh, now it works. I fixed it. So, uh, I know computers now, and the one problem is my camera doesn't work anymore. So, you will be, unfortunately, deprived of my beautiful face, but you get this darn Kimpachi picture right here. So, uh, Outside. That's all, that's, all, that's all you really need. Um, but let's jump right into it because we got an event at 10 p.m. tonight. 
uh, Laguna BT. We got the intro music. Everything was great. Who got Laguna? Anybody? Speak up. Did you get Laguna? Uh, I I do have Laguna. I did green his BT. Oh, it's your second green BT ever, right? It's like number five or <laughs> six. I don't really remember. Um, you want to tell us about him? What's he do? How's he? How's he? How's he play now with his gold debuff? Uh, so he's still a, a big debuffer. His LD gives him a new debuff and buff as well. Uh, his debuff gives 20% HP damage taken up, which is good. He's, he'll find some use even as a call if you don't get his BT. Um, it does some other stat downs. Uh, it's based on the amount of debuffs that the enemy has. He has a follow-up now, kind of like Squall, where he shoots a big gun. It looks really cool. Um, and he has a BT. So his burst finisher drops a four turn gold frame debuff called Desperado, which gives more HP damage up and defense down. And every time an enemy gets hit with HP damage, it triggers an attack, which does full AOB damage and usually seems to cap pretty easily with the amount of modifiers built into his kit and his BT. So he does a lot of damage. Yeah, from what I tested out, yeah, he caps Desperado reliably. <laughs> did you get his BT, uh, Blind Eye? Uh, I did not, but I have messed with uh, friend Lagunas, and, you know, being a Tidus enthusiast, uh, they're amazing together. <laughs> hey, real quick, shout out to Soraya the Ranger. Subscribed for nine months. Good lord. So, Soraya, thank you, man. Uh, best looking dad BT. Sorry, Blind Eye. Oof. Uh, we appreciate the sub. We're at 7 of 25 subs now for the Irvine Gym Pity. Uh, no, no rush, no, you know, no pressure. Uh, if we don't get there, that'd be totally fine to not, and well, there's CSAM. Uh, with 8 months as well. Man, you guys have been around for a while, huh? We appreciate that. Um, but speaking of pities and not wanting to spend resources, which I really can't afford to do, uh, <laughs> uh, some girl... How did your pulls go? I know you got him, but what? The uh, cost? yeah, there was a uh, there was cost? some cost there. The cost <laughs> was uh, nine hundred and twenty tickets. Holy! Uh, but I did get it, so you know, and I got the BT at around ticket five hundred seventy or something. Um, but I'm not tapped like capped on tickets anymore, so that's cool. See, I told you when you told me, I said I was proud of you, and that's why. Because around here, if you guys have been around a while, you know we don't, as a as a show, as a collective, we're a collective, right? Like, we're a collective of, of minds. Um, this collective, we don't hoard. We don't hoard tickets. We don't we don't pack tickets in, in uh, fucking uh, boards and leave them around all day. So in, in, in honor of that, I actually spent... All of my tickets on uh, Laguna. Uh, less than some girl, though, <laughs> luckily. Uh, I actually had to switch to gym. But um, I spent 823 tickets. Uh, first time ever. I'm going to put it in chat so everyone knows uh, exactly what the number is. Uh, 823. I spent 823 tickets. Did not get Laguna LD at all. Uh, it never happened to me before. I, I didn't know what to do. So I started pulling with gems. And it took 55,000 gems. So, it didn't spend as many tickets as some girl, but I did have to spend some gems. Uh, Blind Eye, what did it cost you on the LD? How, how, how'd you make uh, it? I did pull for the LD, and luckily I got it in 330 tickets. But, uh, wow, just listening to you guys. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... I, that's what bothered me. Like, the thing is, if I didn't get him with those tickets, I was going to waste them on, like, Irvine or Thancred or something. So, like... They were going to be thrown in the trash either way. Uh, that's the first time you've ever used that many tickets, though, right? Have you ever hit uh, like that? I've gone, I know I've done like 750, 800 before, but I don't know if I've hit 900. Yeah, I guess I've, I've just been lucky. I have actually never uh, come close. To, I think the most tickets I've ever spent on uh, EX, LD, anything uh, was about 500. Uh, so this was a shock to the system, but I guess that, you know, good players get the weapons and the game's tired of me getting the weapons so much. So it uh, threw a <laughs> wrench in my hands. But we still, 
We still got it, but I didn't get the BT, um, which is a bummer because I really like Laguna and he sounds fun. Um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't going to green him, but I was like, I spent 920 tickets on this character. I'm going to fucking use him, so I greened his BT. Uh, I'm hearing that I'm quiet in chat. Uh, check now. I was actually chewing a piece of chocolate, and uh, it was loud, and I was upset, so I swallowed it. And moved the mic away from my face, so... Uh, that could have been, that could have been why. But now it's close, so maybe now I'm quite, not, not quite anymore. Um, we're gonna do some Ultima missions because the people demand it, and also I'm running, I'm, I'm kind of behind on Ultima missions. Uh, but uh, we also got another new character, another BT plus for the first time. Oh yeah, Terra. Terra. Uh, does anybody use Terra since she's been around? What's the, uh, what's the vibe uh, on Terra? She uh... does more damage. <laughs> Bindai, do you have her? Uh, I do have her BT, but I did not green her. Uh, yeah, I, have T I have Tita, so um, kind, of a, kind of a contradiction there. <laughs> They're both turn hoggers. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, she's she's good. Like You'll definitely get use she, out of her. She is good, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't particularly want or need that. So, um, Before we eh. get into the event, I'm going to do these ultimate missions with these three. I want to do Lena, Terra, and Sherlada. So what would be a good uh, Lufania for that? Lena, uh, Terra, Lena, the current one. Sherlada. The, the uh, Sherlada one that we just got. No, she does. They do bra uh, Terra does brave damage. Yeah, but no one else does. It's fine. I want to do a new one. I'm going to do an old one that's like super shitty. Uh, you can maybe do maybe Dash's. What? No, maybe? Dash's was hard, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, it isn't hard anymore. <laughs> Lots of lore. Um, what was that? That's uh, Strago's last chapter. It's holy and thunder damage on the orb. New hype train success. Congratulations, everyone! You have a level one hype train emote <laughs> at your disposal now. Congratulations. Um, what's the one that I failed? I think I went back and beat it, so I can't do that one. The Zane one? Yeah. Yeah, I went back and beat it. Um, oh, World of Illusions Rama. What did what did Rama do? You had to delay. So it's a delay know. orb. It's super easy. It doesn't have any help, so you'll be fine. Yeah, pretty much. Just rush it down. Bring so a delay call and just kill it. So just rush it down. Take all three spots right now. Um... Uh, the only two characters we got since last week was uh, Terra and Laguna, right? Uh, uh, you know, there's also level 90 other... for Shadow mm -hmm. and Lena. Yeah, two other characters got C90. Uh, Shadow and Lena. I already have them, too. You have Blue Shadow, right? I have Blue Shadow, yes. He's phenomenal. I haven't actually used aren't him. Aren't you curious? Have aren't you used him curious? ever outside of his event? I yeah, used him in his events. Yeah, aren't you curious to know what upgrades he got, man? <laughs> yeah, mind I tell me about the upgrades, because I love him so much, I can't wait to use him. What did he get? Do you know? <laughs> All right, so from what I know, you know, he was he was very good already, so, you know, he didn't need a rework. So, uh, you know, they just upgraded his EX and um, his AA, which in my opinion is a very big deal for him. So uh, his EX has three dumps, and it now ignores defense. Before, Interceptor ignored uh, defense, but now the EX ignores it. So pretty much everything he does when he touches his EX ignores defense. And his AA, it now got four uses, which is, I guess, cool, right? And it now gives him 60% attack up and 40% brave damage limit up. I believe it also gives him 20% stolen overflow, and everyone knows that that thing gives him 100% evasion. Uh, he's pretty good. Uh, you know, the infographic from Tom Gray Troop, our good friend, uh, says that, you know, he hits as hard as a BT weapon. And, uh, you know, I, I believe it. <laughs> uh, so Maggie, do you have Shadow? And what do you think? Of I don't even have his LD. What? Okay. Have his LD? I mean, what? Oh, I, I don't. He does evasion and, 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 uh, he has a doll. Yeah, you're right. Those are correct statements. Well, I'll use him now um, because not right now, but I'll use him more because I feel bad because you called me out for blueing him. I used him in his event. <laughs> I used him in his event. And he was great. Um, I already have Cloud. I don't have Quistus built. I don't think Dark Sea Soul delays. Um, 
I'm bringing some delay calls for this. Uh, uh, Diesel, Cypher... I mean, with this team, we shouldn't really need... Um, Quest this as well. We shouldn't really need... Uh, I'm going to use Blind Eyes Friend. We shouldn't really need any delays, right? I should be able to just blow it up before the orb pops. I don't know. Pretty much, and I guess you can use uh, my ROMs as LD. You know, it does have a delay as well. So, you know, quick thinking on that, Raw. Yep, I, I did that on purpose. I, I was thinking I need another extra delay, and so I brought your ROMs up. Um, what else does he do? Does he... He has, like, uh, ads on his... All right, no, he yeah, have uh, he, he does have ads. ads. Yeah, if you let him act. Oh, we're not going to let him act. We're just going to blow him up with... Uh... Actually, I don't know what we'll do. We'll just... Oh, and, uh, you know, the other character that got C90 is uh, the character you're using right now, or I guess the character you just swapped out, Rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, what did Lena get? Lena's Lena's another character who pretty recently got their LD and is already good. So, well, what did she get? Uh, just she actually didn't get much at all, which I don't think she really needed much. Oh yeah, for sure. But the big her big changes are her EX is like an actual button now. It does like four dumps, I think. Um, and she got some personal damage buffs, but that's actually basically it. Pretty much, yeah. Which again, I don't think is a bad thing because again, she, I used her literally like last week. Yeah, she I guess maybe she like the really small. Do. I guess maybe the small minor thing is that her kit pre C ninety didn't have any brave gain, and now she has a conditional brave gain, but it is very small, <laughs> and it's tied to her AA. That's why it's like conditional. I've yeah. never found that I wanted Brave Gain up on her, like, or, like, cared that much that she did or didn't have it, because, like... She caps. <laughs> yeah. She batteries the party to full either way, so, like... Yeah, that was, like, yeah, like, at first, I'm, like, on paper, it's, like, yeah, you know, no Brave Gains, right? And then, like, I used her. This was, like, C80, and then it's, like she's capping like does she really need it <laughs> yeah like everyone gets their back spray anyway so who cares yeah yeah soraya's got a good point in chat too um i kind of forgot she wasn't c90 already she's one of those characters who just, be, just felt like they were already c90 because when you're looking at your roster for a, an event she, she's just feels like she's, she's good she's already good she's up there uh didn't really feel like she needed one but i guess it rounds out her kit a little bit um i I kind of feel like everyone was using her pre C90, and then it was just like a free upgrade for everyone who went for her, which I'm pretty sure like a majority of the player base just went for her at the beginning. Yeah, she was very popular. Um, he's moving or doing something. How do I forget every fight? I mean, I don't remember. I, I go through these ultimate missions and look at the potential Lufanias, and I'm like, I don't, I don't remember what that does. Uh, I believe that was for the reduction, so, like, his reductions are at max. No, no. You can say his power is at max. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, say... like, I, I remember this fight, but I definitely did not engage with, like, most of these mechanics. You can say his power is maximum, Raw. <laughs> okay, so he's at, he's at max power right now. Uh, yeah. Doesn't look like anything's really gonna matter. Uh, <laughs> this is a pretty old Lufania. But, um, I think the only character I have to do ultimate weapon mission for it now is uh, Laguna. I'll wait till I get his BT. If I get his BT. Um, after this, we'll jump into Transcendence because we did get one event and it was... It, did. Uh, it existed. Oof. There were... Uh... Oof. I'll tell you, man. The Whiplash from the last fight to Transcendence, we won't go into detail until I pull it up, but um, good lord. <laughs> And Tree Void yeah. already, uh, you know, already stating facts in the chat. <laughs> I was, I would say I was not impressed if I had to, uh, give my take on this fight. We're dropping yeah, same, friends. same here. Um, Tree Void said he's ranted about it everywhere, uh, already. Yeah, I saw, and I agree with everything you said so far, Tree Void. It's just, especially after coming out of that really fun, really engaging um, 
global first fight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it just feels just feels terrible. Um, luckily, we get another fight tonight that will definitely wash all that bad taste in our mouth because it's a new LD <laughs> for Irvine, and he's going to intertwine oh, yeah. Will. So that fight should be great for sure. What could go wrong? Yeah. We'll talk about it next yeah, time. Yeah, I feel like there's nothing to worry about when it comes to that fight. And there's the ultimate mission done. Um, so what transcendence is this? Jesus Christ 8? Is transcendence 8? Yep. So I guess left and right... Uh, left and right, we're trying to sell the two new BT characters. Are the BT plus Terra and... Uh, and Laguna, we'll start with the left side. Um, we'll go through it as we destroy this. Um, Time to oh remember shit. what that does. I just yeah, I forgot which gate is, <laughs> is the left gate the, uh, the, the, the the debuff one. Yeah, I think it's the debuff, debuff one. one. Meriliths, and the right is the um, Sharkies. Uh, I just switched to this. So I think it'll probably make us look at each one of the transcendences. Nice trip. Oh, down classic. There. Yeah, nice trip down there. Lane. Remind you of better fights. There we go. Tier one. Ooh, that was fun with the Hot Wheels, Peacel, Cloud, yeah. Gibranth. Exactly who you're supposed to bring. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> T2, the Parrot, Garland, Aerith, Ferris. Phenomenal. Uh, once That's again, very smart uh, what I ran. Once again, the best team we could bring. I'm not very creative. Warrior of Light, Go uh, Golbez, and Deuce on Tier 3. That, okay. Well, that's interesting. That's good <laughs> shit. Uh, Yuna, Setzer, Vaughn, once again, the, 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 the strongest most possible team. team. <laughs> this is not good for me. Uh, Bart, Zidane, and uh, Poor. Uh, all right. That, that's like, you know, we all read, you're in really similar teams to me in a lot of these fights, you know? R inject I... and Yuffie at six. Six sucked at, or it didn't suck, it was just hard as fuck. Uh, seven, Lloyd, Sid, and Furion. Oh, I got a little duo over there. See, that's skill. Uh, Maria and Furion on right. And now you get to see what I use here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, speaking Damn. of the strongest possible team, <laughs> holy shit. Um, I didn't okay. fuck around with this, and uh, I don't I don't blame myself because it was not engaging. Um, so left, you got these Meriliths. Um, they're inflict one or more debuff in one turn is plus three, but player action is minus two. So every turn, if you inflict a debuff, the orb goes up by one. Uh, count yeah. a target afflicted with one or more gold debuffs at end of a turn is plus four. So that would be... Uh, uh, Laguna's BT, yeah. Or Sephiroth Call. Uh, Helena yeah. is that condition. Does Kadash yeah. have a gold no, already? You can use Kadash? He does, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he does. He's the original gold flame premium yeah. debuffs. They fixed Kadash, so now you can use him. Um, this is going to take a while, Hi. especially the final fight, so I'm just going to jump into this. Uh, I guess I'll just bring the Go same teams. Well, should I just bring the same teams? I don't want to get somebody locked in there who I don't want locked in there. So, uh, Caius, I was supposed to use him on the on 7, but or 6, but he wasn't green yet. And I greened him and never went back to put him in there. Dude, we're getting pretty <laughs> deep in here with the... Uh, how many is that? Eight times three, twenty-four. If you didn't do or solo anything, you got twenty-four. Forty-eight because there's six. Oh, yeah, there's shit, six. There is six. Yeah. Oh, mighty. So forty-eight characters, and I believe there's a hundred. Well, according to you, there's a hundred and fifty-five allies. So, um, yeah. That shit's wild, dude. Um, I think you just do a debuff every turn here. They both do debuffs, and then Vanille's EX does debuff, right? Yeah, someone said interesting call to bring Vanille. Um, I j just like her, and I didn't have <laughs> any real care about this uh, transcendence, so I just threw her in the team, and it worked out fine. So uh, let's just do this. A blue character in the blue. Yeah, blue All crystal right. is Laguna, the character they want you to bring. Did <laughs> you did you bring Laguna in your fight, so Maggie? I did not. Who did you bring? Uh, okay. I left side. I brought Noctis, Sarah, and Pain for a blue crystal. Oh. Whoa, hold on. Noctis, Sarah, and Pain, Pain. is the blue character. Blue crystal. Yeah. Ex 
explained. How did that go? Who was doing all the debuffs? Everybody. Everybody debuffs on that team? Uh, actually, I ran into a really kind of interesting interaction where Sarah's debuffs didn't actually work for the orb most of the time. Because uh... with her level 90 rework, she, she frames her debuffs with her LD. And the generics were not overwriting the frame debuffs, so it was like not counting them as new debuffs. Oh shit. And so she wasn't taking up the orb, but it didn't matter because it's regular Lufania and it just dies, so. Yeah, I'll be honest, I did this fight on my couch watching a soccer game on Saturday morning, and uh, both fights. Uh, because everyone said how bad they were, so I was like, whatever, I'll just do it. And so I, now that I'm looking at this, I don't really know how I did this because I've got eight frames on here, so <laughs> <laughs> so Vanille's EX won't actually do a debuff on her turns. But I guess, I, I guess it didn't matter. I don't remember. <laughs> I it, yeah, you, you just burst right. the summon, and they're dead. It doesn't matter. Just do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, that's but, one of that's one of the issues I have with Laguna, honestly, with like a friend unit Laguna, like he clogs up what like six debuff slots. Well, only four of them are framed. Right. Yeah. Does he have? Wait, does he have other debuffs? He only has four. It's not that bad. Well, wait, 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 wait. Doesn't his LD give him a debuff? Oh yeah, yeah. So five. With the, so with five the framed. Yeah, like that's a lot. <laughs> I mean, it. I guess. Like, and I'm using them with Titus. I think two of them are overwritten with Titus, so, like, there's six, and then, you know, that literally leaves me, since I'm using Titus with, like, two others. So, like, Kurasami, and then maybe, like, a selfie or, like, a Keese or something, and that's it. <laughs> but, like, you're already capping HP damage. I don't what do you need the other Divas for. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Founder said six with the BT. What is the six? I don't... That there aren't... I don't know. Six got, of them? I've got eight. He's got attack, stuff, defense, so speed, LD debuff, and then the BT. Uh, Cross said, I can't wait for everyone to see T9 and Axe Tough Guy. Uh, so T9 must be hard. Is that the Vincent one? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I know it takes a spike in difficulty. Good. I, I think Cross sometimes misunderstands when everybody's complaining about how easy these fights are. We, we're complaining because we want it to be hard. <laughs> we're, we're looking for the hard fight, so we're excited for that. That's, that's and then, and when then, we had the most then, fun. And then if it makes you feel better, Raw, you know, there are clears with uh, Zidane being used in T9 middle, hey. so, uh, yeah. I know he gets... His, his level 90's coming soon. Yeah, his uh, level 90 fight, though, he, he gets kind of screwed, right? Because uh, it's safe for Sephiroth. Is that right? Yep. And it's immune to break, so <laughs> I mean, not really ideal for Zidane, but we'll make it work. Um, so well, we'll bring him, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I guess this is how I did the fight. I just bursted and then bursted. summoned, and it didn't matter. Burst what through it. Yeah. It didn't matter. Yeah, like, was that, that's how you do this fight. Like, I also did the same because I wasn't taking up the orb with like half of my turns and I was like shit so I just I did the same him. without a green BT in fact I used uh, a very old BT for my run who? oh yeah you haven't even told us your team what's your team for the left gate? So my left gate, you know, was very uh, weird you know I was trying to optimize and it was a uh, Sephiroth with BT uh, Rosa to fulfill the blue condition and Fran and just cause I mean I guess to use Fran here right <laughs> he does have Divas yeah so Fran maintained the orb Rosa had Lilliset's call to you know have a, a source of debuff in case the orb got low on her turns and uh, Sephiroth was there uh, you know being my primary DPS and uh, yeah no he's not that good <laughs> where are the boss turns <laughs> I uh, like the Ferris call that you brought with you for some reason. Yeah, it'd be great to throw on some debuffs right about now, right? Get that orb back up. Uh, definitely. Uh, Wait, no, one, so it will count. Three, four, five, use, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. okay so. If you use D Protect, it will count. It should count for the orb. Uh, yeah. One of them's already a framed version of. Okay. Yeah, frame defense down. And yeah, but she has got a stronger highest, defense down. She has the highest uh, defense, yeah. So she will she can still tick the orb. The thing I was talking about earlier that was weird was that yeah, sure. um, because I don't think she can take it 
again with that until the boss takes a turn or something. And also, the X isn't going to tick the orb because there's no space for her trap. Yeah. Um, so obviously, the easiest path of least resistance here, uh, you could just do what I did, which is bring uh, a BT, a green BT, and then three characters that debuff. But if you're having trouble, uh, essentially every single turn, if they don't, their orb doesn't go down on their turns. So if you just bring someone, if you just bring people who debuff, at least one debuff, uh, all three units, then the orb will always be going up, uh, essentially, yeah. right? So, I mean, it's, yeah. I, I doubt anybody I, listening had a hard time. What's that? The other thing you can do is um, if you have Sephiroth's Call for the gold-framed debuff, it, since it will go up on their turn plus four if you're giving them turns. Just bring Seph Call, and then the orb uh, just doesn't exist. Yeah, they're trying to, to sell the Laguna gold debuff, so plus four on their turns. But, I mean, <laughs> why would you get why would you give them turns? Just melt them. Um, let's see if Deep Attack needs to go up. Yeah. I'm curious. I'm curious about this interaction because there's, there's some like weird interaction with the framed and unframed. Okay, it does count that. Wait, it went, yeah, it does it for some reason. Same. Yeah. I thought it stayed the same, or did it go? Well, it does because it's minus. It goes up by three, then it goes down by two. So it should go up by one. Or did it go? Oh, it was at seven. My fault. I'm just. Well, thinking. yeah. Well, it, go, it maxed out at ten though. So if it's at eight, oh, it goes yeah. up to ten, and then goes back down to eight. It can never be above eight on your turn. After your turn. Math. Simple math. Um, Big fans of math around here. Yeah. We do, we do know for math. For sure. Uh, it looks like the hardest part of this fight was waiting for my summon to be up so I could end the fight. Um, that's going to be a theme of this transcendence. Once we oh, get to God. middle, once we get to middle, I've got some, uh, I've got some opinions, it's man. I mean, good God. That just just unacceptable uh, but we're not going to get ahead of ourselves we're going to suffer through the fights one by one just like you already did once <laughs> yeah deep protect is working yeah okay it works I need to figure oh, yeah. out what was going wrong with my run because it wasn't working the way I thought it would so well you use Sarah right or the dragon yeah. you use on you okay yeah yeah I brought Sarah what was your uh, what was your team again uh, Samagi I brought Noctis, Sarah, and Pain. Okay, so there wasn't any debuff confliction because status break and then point blank war, but obviously Sarah doesn't conflict with that. So weird. Yeah, I think it's something with like when she frames her own debuffs, it like messes with them overwriting themselves or something. I don't I didn't really understand what was happening. I remember reading up about that, yeah. Something with her LD that there were a lot of people that didn't really uh find well with her. It was a bug. Uh, Endo. What's up, Endo in chat? Says, you loving your green Caius? Uh, yes, the live stream viewers, thankfully, so sweet and kind, made me green him. Pull him and green him, and I never used him. Uh, he was supposed to go, as you could tell from when we went through my transcendence, I uh, pretty much every time bring exactly who they want you to bring. Because it's the easiest and smartest way. Because hey, then you never have to remove people. Because every time you just pull for the new people who are supposed to go there. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't have him green at the time, so I decided to bring him here. And this is like the third time I've used him. Uh, I actually do. I, I like using Kai's. Kai's is good here, obviously, but I like Kai's. I uh, I like to delay the bosses to eternity. That's why I like Zidane so much. Or his kit in this game. Yeah, he's got a boss turn anxiety. Yeah, I've got boss turn anxiety because I'm a baddie. <laughs> so I try to keep boss the bosses from moving ever. And Caius helps that. If you just green, if you just do the burst plus and then burst, uh, he delays them over and over. They're just gone forever. Uh, well, not gone forever as you see here, but almost gone forever. Um, well, they might take a turn. What will you do if they take a turn? I'll probably have a panic attack. Uh, but I don't know if they'll take a turn because I'll, I'll just LD them to death. Um... Yeah, Kai's is fine. Yeah, Kai's is good here. Yeah, he is good. I'm gonna run out of turns. I'm gonna run out of fight before I even use all my LDs on it. Yeah, I mean, it's... Honestly, I feel like they really need to make Crucibles, like, Lufania Plus fights, at least. Are these not even Lufania Plus? No. It's just Lufania. They've never been. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure if a JP player can even tell me if they even become Lufania. Well, actually, not even, because I think they just get well, Lufania rid of plus Lufania stops Plus. Existing, so. Yeah, exactly. It's just Lufania. Rest in peace, but, Lufania uh, Plus. 
yeah, I don't know. I like I like you. If you think back to like the early transcendence, it's part of what made them so fun is that the crucibles were hard, and you had to like think carefully about how to build a team that could actually like check all the mechanics of the crucibles and then also be good for the reckoning fight. Whereas with these, it's just like you, you can bring whoever the hell you want through these fights. They won't have trouble getting through. Yeah, it's kind of just yeah, I mean, that they they add the crystal. Uh, whatever cri the crystal, whatever character they're trying to get you to bring, just to try to make it a little bit more restrictive, but it's really not. Uh, I think, I guess, ever since the beginning, we've never really had rough. Uh, what are they called? Not crucibles. Yeah, Side crucibles. gates. Crucibles. Yeah, the crucibles. No, like I'd say, like T one crucibles. Like there was the launch one with the turtles oh, on the right side. That was pretty tough. That's yeah, because back then it was like highs because you needed. Well, wait, were they? No, it was blue. They were trying to sell cloud. Cloud, and yeah. Ice. Yeah. Yeah, it was. And and like, god damn it! Like you had to be like they gained a bunch of brave. You either need to like have Kais to shave it or paralyze them with cloud. Like you had to do things, and interact with the mechanics. And I remember it was tough. And there were some people that were like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait for Kais when he comes back, right? I'm pretty sure T1. Oh, no, was it was like... waiting. It was waiting for Cloud to get his LD boards because he got them like two days later. Yeah. But then also, like, there were some people that were like, you know what? I'm just going to hold off on getting Kais until, you know, he comes back on what was it? Lale. Lale's banner. LVT. Yeah. And then I'm pretty sure T1 was like, hold up real quick. I'm going to have to maybe chuck some tickets for his LD real quick. Yeah. The, uh... Yeah. No, like, that was a tough fight. Whereas, like, I don't know. When did Crucible start being this easy? Is it just what the Sarah Flipping of Plus? The second one was the Parrots, was the Reckoning. So, what was the. Yeah, the there was the there was the delay fight on the left with Garland. It was the Wolves. That was the that wolves. One was, I mean, that one was easy just because no turn fights are easy if you bring a delayer. <laughs> hey, boss, boss anxiety. I'd say, T2, I'd say T2 was probably the easiest before it just got like this easy that you can just. Well, T3 like... was a joke. Like, T3 oh, left yeah. was the stupid Gao dinosaurs. Those were a joke. And then the right side was the behemoth that never HP attacked when you had to take reduced HP damage. <laughs> oh, oh, that God, was so frustrating, dude. Dude, but I then remember like T four, like, like you had the flan where you had to cleanse debuffs. That was a pretty tough one. Yeah, that did a lot of stuff. I and, remember uh, I tried to bring Sephiroth to through T three right, and I had like Kurosawa oh, and there. they were so slow. And then by the time they like acted, it was just like a brave attack, and I was just like, fuck. <laughs> uh, what are the right side here? The sharks, but they don't actually do the stuff yeah. the sharks used to do. Uh, they they do the they do, well, do they the do. turn inserting thing. Yeah, but they don't make the but they don't take less damage before you launch them. They took the launching part. No, this is no launch fight. So they took the Lael launch sharks <laughs> and just removed the launch <laughs> from yeah. the fight. So a six month old fight. That's fine. Uh, count target takes damage from two consecutive. Okay, so this was the one where I just L I, I just LD'd with uh, Terra and all then all the way down into then the the end. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this one will be just about as engaging as the last one. Yeah, this uh, this fight can be soloed by Terra. Oh, can it? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That. You don't even need her to be green. I don't have her green, so it's perfect. Um, I guess I could just. All right, it'll be fine. Oh wait, what color do I need? Oh, Terra. Duh. Green. Yeah, Terra. <laughs> Terra. See, see, listen to me. This is the this is how you do it, man. You do the transcendence. You pull whatever characters they're trying to make you use. And you just use them. Uh, I know I'm talking about how I want hard fights, but hey, if it's not going to be hard, no matter who you bring, why would you make it slightly more artificially hard? Uh. Always the sign. Call. So, so Maggie, who did you bring for your, your uh, T A or I gate? Uh, <laughs> so I brought um for my BT. I had a. I decided to bring my base BT Machina. Damn. Because uh, he takes a lot of turns in a row. If you actually remember what he played like before he got his burst plus. Yeah. So I got to I played him that way because I don't have him green. I just have his burst and his regular BT HP pluses are not very good. Um, and then I brought Rydia 
and Whoa, Shelton. Okay. Ooh, that's uh, she also takes turns in a row. Oh yeah, Rydia, Shell, mm -hmm. and Machina. Yeah, and you had no issues, right? How do you, it was you... super easy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, incredibly easy fight. Paximano One is now following. We appreciate it, Paximano. Welcome. We're here every Monday night, 8:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, for the live stream. Thank you. Um, Blind Eye, have you gone over your team? Uh, I have not for Rygate. Uh, for Rygate, you know, just like you, I used the uh, character they were selling. Uh, I used Terra. I, uh, you know, uh, took away uh, Titus's uh, Ultima Weapon Sword for a little bit and threw it onto Terra. <laughs> and then I brought Beatrix, thinking that these sharks were going to be as ferocious as the, uh, the Leo sharks. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third character I brought was uh, Sherlotta, and the fight was a joke. <laughs> yeah, they don't really uh, do anything. Yeah, I thought I would take, like, HP attacks with them turn hopping, and uh, I didn't. <laughs> I'm trying to give them some turns to see what they do. Um, um, nothing. What is the little thing? I gave them there? a lot of turns. What is that? It's just saying how many turns in a row I've done? Yeah, because yeah. you need to do a certain number of turns in a row, and hey, that's cute. it's counting it for you. It's the same thing. It, the uh, launch orb on T6 right also had that, where you had to launch them. Uh, three turns in a row. Yeah, it was like an internal counter. And then they... when it comes to calls, and then when it comes to calls, it only counts if you use both calls. Because <laughs> it's the same character, yeah. Yeah. They f they did that as a direct response, I'm imagining, to um, uh, the Reflasias, right? The Reflasias, if you did um, the original Reflasias, if you did, if you took too many turns in a row, they would they worked on you and yeah. cleanse and everything. I remember doing that fight. I took Zidane through that fight because I was the one fight where he was really, really bad uh, <laughs> early on in the saga. But uh, I just kept losing track. I got a pencil and paper out and I would start making ta make ta mark tally marks, and I still it still would they still jump. So I wish they had that for that fight. But I guess better late than never. That reminds me of when I took Titus through there. I literally had a notepad, right? And I was like, turn one, Titus. Turn two, core. And I was literally like just freaking <laughs> marking down my turn. I got to eight like over and over. I'd get to eight and be like, all right, I got one more. To, I, 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 can, I can do one more. And Reflage's turn rate became instantaneous. Yeah, no, that, the same thing happened for me. It felt like I was just running through landmines and like I knew they were there. It was just, yeah, too many turns. Fucking suck. Um, I don't think I bursted with Zach on my first one because this is going to be even faster than the one I did. I think I bursted with Terra <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, no, I definitely wish these fights were uh, a lot better. <laughs> Interesting like at design, all. Yeah, the design was there the first time we fought these things. Like the Leo Sharks, I remember they were annoying when they were selling I like that fight a lot. Yeah. That fight was rough, man, with the, the launch. If you didn't launch them, they would become like the HP damage. Uh, yeah, they gained 90% HP damage reduction. Yeah. Until you did a 150,000 damage launch. And then the turn warp thing was to sell Leo, since, like, if he launched, anyone can join in regardless of their position in the uh, in the turn order. Yeah. So that was, like, really good design. Yeah, so they just gave us a good fight with uh, the most important um, mechanic uh, removed from it. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I mean, also with, like, not very much HP in an area when like it's super trivial to do a million damage every turn. Yeah, it almost feels like these bosses' predecessors had more HP. I mean, obviously these things have more they HP, didn't. but the right. amount of damage that we were able to do back then was like very little compared to now. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a problem for the entirety of garbage time. If they just increased boss HP because we were getting so much more damage ability, 
Uh, it wouldn't really make the fights any more engaging, but it would at least make them, I guess, a little bit more tough if you're dealing with an orb the whole time. But uh, the whole time they've just not increased the boss HP, so our damage just keeps going up, up, up through the roof, and boss HP does not. It's either at a standstill or it just goes down. <laughs> We're out of here, and we're on to the uh, <laughs> the cream of the crop, the, the crucible against uh, actually cool looking dragon. It, I, I gotta give it give the devs one thing. This reskin uh, is the coolest reskin of the of the dragon that we fought, in my opinion. Um, unfortunately, the fight's not very good. Unfortunately. So I'm going to bring the same team to it just to get it over with. But essentially, this fight has three lives, right? Yes. And the orb is uh, different each each life. And uh, Well, it's non-existent the on the first one. First yeah, off. except the first. So here's the cool guy. He's very cool looking. Lunatic Quartz Disaster. Okay, love that. Good name. Uh, trigger. After count, target recovers 100% HP. So after you kill him the first time, he gets an orb, right? Uh, cancel first region. HP falls below 10%. So in the second life, his HP drops below 10 and the orb goes away. Uh, and it goes down on each of your actions. And here's the problem with the fight. Is uh, cancel second region. Cannot cancel. Tick. Count or target action minus one. Uh, you essentially have to just sit there and wait until the boss takes 10 turns to let his orb pop. And uh, it it takes a long time for him to take 10 turns because he doesn't have that much health. Yep. Yeah, and it also... Um, I think I brought some mitigation or healing calls just in case because there's actually... A... You have Zach's BT. Oh yeah, I do. Zack also has, like, very good HP damage reduction as an aura. Maybe I uh, used it all up too soon. I don't remember what happened. But there's a high... What is the... I took 10,911 damage, HP damage, with Zack in the party. Ooh, with green Zack. Um, and it took me 61 turns. So this should be fun. Um... Essentially, the whole fight is just, it's almost inexplicable uh, what they were thinking, what the the goal of the, fall, of the fight was. Um, sitting there on the last life and just waiting for him to take, uh, to take 10 turns is probably the worst mechanic the game has ever had, uh, in my opinion. It's pretty rough, man. Who did you bring I, I some agree. girl, and how did you deal with this? Uh, <sighs> So I brought, well, I mean, you already know what six characters I had. I brought Noctis, Sarah, and Rydia. And um, it was really easy. <laughs> uh, well, we can talk more about it when we get to the part where you actually have to get the boss turns, but Rydia trivializes this fight. Rydia does? Because the oh, boss has to yeah. attack you ten times. She gives the party guaranteed evasion for twelve turns. Yeah. <laughs> I did not get touched by the boss a single time in the entire fight. Um, what do you do for the first life? You just burn it down, right? Just kill no, it. You, you have to burn it down on the second life before the orb pops. Or there's something. That's yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Kind yeah. Of okay, engaging. so on the second. No, no, it's not. <laughs> in the in the second phase, his orb starts with five count, and if the orb goes off, you die. So you have to kill it in before it takes five turns, which is. So ridiculously easy to do. I didn't give it a single turn in that phase. And you heard who I brought. Like, I mean, I guess I had Noctis jumping my turns up, but yeah. it doesn't matter. Mind I, who did you bring uh, to the Crucible? Uh, for me, I brought the same team as my right gate. So, uh, Terra, Beatrix, and, um, Charlotta. The only difference is I brought a couple of, uh, 
more defensive and healing calls uh, just because I thought the boss would be uh, threatening because, you know, I was uh, reading up through the in-game description, you know, what he did. And I was attacks. like... What was that? Yeah, he has a lot of attacks. They look kind of scary. I don't know what any of them do. Yeah, so, like, I brought, like, a Warrior of Light call and then a Rydia call, right, for the for the dodge as some Eggie pu uh, put it out. And I had Beatrix for, like, the HP region for the party. Well, the HP healing for the party with her HP plus and then the HP region she gives. And, um... No, the fight was, uh, pretty disappointing. <laughs> All phases, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I did this fight while I was watching a soccer game again. And, um, I sat up and I could not believe what, what the setup on The Last Life. We'll get there in a second, but the way it's set up to where I, mean, I was I was just HP attacking uh, because Damn. you're going to get to to where he's almost dead before anything that before you can kill it because the orb has to explode for you to kill it and it's just it's it is the most perplexing and there's been a lot of perplexing design uh, decisions in the history of the game uh, it is the single most perplex perplexing design decision I've ever had I've ever seen this game it just it it asks nothing of the player but to waste your own time, which I just think is just just outrageous. Yeah, I this fight was stupid. I and you compare I mean, it to something that we got, you know, last week was it with the <laughs> uh, global first event like that orb was incredibly strict, and then we just go to this where it's like. We can't even do anything. We have to give them 10 turns. <laughs> yeah, I think the th yeah. this fight was built to test your patience. Not your roster <laughs> or your skill. It just like, <laughs> your tests your patience, and that's it. Hey, Indo in chat says, can't wait to get this fight. And that's a good point. Hey, soon enough, we'll get some hard fights. Transcendence uh, 9 is hard, right? Uh, I guess we have another one. See, uh, Sierra's fight supposed to be tough. Or maybe allegedly, a little bit. A little, allegedly. Yeah. So I yeah, mean, it's we supposed got, to be hard. We got tough. We got tougher fights coming up, so it's. It I mean, it'd be bad. hard for it to not be harder than this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it would be very hard. We should press one as EX. We can see the new C90 EX. Look at it! Oh, look at all the dumps! Phenomenal. Yeah, it does. Uh, it does damage. Yeah, it's actually a button you no know, longer press to maintain uh, her, uh, what was it, Princess of Tycoon buff. Yeah. Speaking of which, I've not looked at any buffs. Uh, guarantee you some ones are about to fall off. It's kind of similar to the first time I ran it. But... Don't let your overhead fall off on Zach. Yeah, I guess. Um... The boss is nice enough to give itself speed up and it debuffs you with speed down. Raw Life waited to use the BT effect at the end of Wave 3. The HP damage on Zack won't affect the HP requirement. I've still got a burst. Um, i still got a burst to use whenever I need or whenever I want to refresh his burst effect. But it's just... Yeah, no, this fight uh, stuck. Also, uh, it's been uh, discussed in a couple places, but I didn't want to point out how I thought it was funny that... Uh... The featured character is Laguna, who has one of the strongest speed down effects in the game, which makes the last phase take even longer. Yeah, <laughs> do not, <laughs> do not debuff this guy's speed. Do not delete his. I guess you can't really. Where, when does he become immune to uh, delay break? Doesn't he do that? It's on his last life. Yeah. Um. Oh, the orb doesn't just go kill. down on your turn. <laughs> So yeah, you, yeah. This so is just Tara, don't give it five turns. So Terra once again can complete. Oh, Terra has speed down too. Hanshu says. In Terra, chat. Yeah, I mean her speed down is not nearly as powerful. Like Laguna is. Do you know how strong Laguna's speed down is? No, oh, what is it? It's like fifty percent speed down or something. Jeez. It's yeah. like the strongest in the entire game. 
like you will notice his speed down if you run him in this fight. <laughs> You'll be doubling or tripling up the boss's turns very easily. Pair that up with Kurasama and you got a problem. <laughs> oh yeah, or just, you're stacking other speed down effects. For Quistus get... with turn rate down, like it can get pretty, it can get pretty rough for the enemy. Yeah, bring Quistus. That sounds horrible. But yeah, like typically you're probably gonna want to use your burst and your summon in like this phase because you certainly don't want to use them in the next phase because they'll waste yeah. your time. See, the idea here for me is gonna be to have Zach's BT effect up late enough that I can just HP attack over and over and over on the final phase without the BT effect coming off and just giving him as much turns as giving the boss as much turns as possible. Um, because he doesn't do anything. Uh, if he did stuff on your on your on his turns, it could be, I guess, a little bit more intriguing because it's like, oh, you just gotta hold on, hold on to your pants because the end of this fight's gonna be crazy. You gotta let him have ten turns, and he's be coming at you all ten turns. Uh, no, <laughs> no, that is not. Yeah, the case. I think they should just had him warp and take ten turns in a row. <laughs> yeah, and each one of them was uh, build brave HP attack dumps. By the way, Samagi, do you notice anything, uh, you know, weird with, uh, you know, Raza, Zack? Uh, I mean, gotta be a, gotta be a buff falling off. <laughs> no, absolutely no, gotta be. falling off yet. Yet. Yeah. Oh, my LD buff is that. It's that overhead cool. sitting there at one is like, why'd you tell him? That's I was overhead gonna guy, dude. Off. You know I was not going to refresh that. I was, I was going to say overhead I, I do guy. know you weren't going to refresh that, no. so I wasn't saying anything. I still have three uh, uh, LD uses. That's why I was about to And roll. a burst phase. Uh, so um, this one's going to be... Uh, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, no matter who you bring, this one's a marathon. Well, see, I don't think a marathon's really like a good description of this, because typically in a marathon you're like exerting yourself the whole time. This is like sitting there watching like paint dry <laughs> for like quite the six analogy. hours. Yeah, in a marathon, in a marathon you're actually exerting yourself heavily. In here, you're just waiting patiently. If you do this fight while you're doing something else, it's really not that bad. Uh, you know, chatting with your buddies on the roll on the live stream, uh, watching a soccer game like I was. You know, but if you actually are playing the game, play the game. Uh, you're not gonna have a good time. I'm trying to think how I'm gonna when I should burst best to not have to worry about HP damage at the end, because ten boss turns can take fucking forever, even with barely any speed down. Um, I guess it couldn't take more than like seven Zach's turns, all right? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think uh, there's some discussion in chat about like Zach being really good here. I think any like character who can keep you safe, there's like a lot of characters who kind of just trivialize the last oh, phase. Yeah, I think Bosch. Bosch and Radia in particular were pretty Guy. popular picks. Guy is probably another one, maybe. Guy? I should have used Guy. No, you guys know my rule. <laughs> get in and get out. I'm just going to burst now. I mean, he does have healing, and he makes your party hit harder. So, you know, there's that. Uh... I think he also has HP damage reduction on this kid, so yeah. He has all the check marks. Oh, I said Rydia just, like, completely just, like, cheeses the third phase. It's really funny how good Rydia is for this fight. And Daniel with the Theodore ah, play. Of course, Daniel in chat repping his boy Theodore. Good for you, Daniel. I'm glad. Did you bring him, Daniel? Did you get to use him? You having fun, son? <laughs> Seador in Transcendence. Very nice. Um, I didn't think about this, but I'm going to kill this guy in BT phase, and he's not going to... Oh, he does. Okay, good. Whew. All right, so now we're in the final phase. He has to move ten times. Now, this is perfect timing. I'm just going to HP attack pretty much every time. Yeah, because you didn't use your free skill on a skill. Did I not? What did I do? No, I mean outside you did. of... Oh, 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 here we go. Um, oh, do you just have Oh, you just have Well, yeah. you don't have any skills to use your free <laughs> yeah, skill on. Yeah, I'm just so. plus one. 
No, I meant at, once I get outside of the uh, okay. burst, I'm just going to... Because any skill may move them up in the turn. Oh my god, I didn't use my summon either. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The pain is never ending. He gets a free AA. You can uh, get that up. Yeah, uh, that was a player error. Hopefully, it doesn't cost us the run. I know. Yeah, I I use a lot of HP plus in the last phase because I was running Noctis and the plus versions of his skills like jump his turn forward. I was like, no, I do not want to take any more <laughs> turns. Yeah, Noctis is HP an... plus. Noctis is an interesting. <laughs> No, he's actually really good for the phase where you need to not give them turns because you can like just yeah. burn all his LDs early and just not give the boss any turns and then play it more normally later on. And he's got really good single target damage. Yeah, I think the the MVPs here. Oh, I didn't use my Kate Sith call either. Jesus Christ! Who cares? <laughs> Don't use it. It'll just make the fight take longer. Um, oh yeah. MVP I would is... save a uh, Lena LD as well. Um, it's your big burst deal. You should probably save one. Surely Zach won't run out of his burst phase, will he? Burst Maybe, phase. but by the time it runs out, the boss will probably be at one with the orb still high. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, like, as far as I can tell, he does attack you. I don't really know what any of his attacks do, though, so. There was one interesting uh, mechanic he did where he would revert. He made it so that your brave gains and your yeah. heals would be converted to him. Oh yeah, he does see that. that. But like, that's literally the only like cool thing he does. <laughs> I was confused as shit. I was half watching, and then like all of a sudden he was gaining brave every turn. And I was like, wait, what? where's that fucking brave coming from? So someone explained that uh, mechanic. He he essentially right. takes your brave gains, right? After he uses his recast, which we're about to see here, uh, he will now convert your healing and brave gains to him. So, if, so if you, you heal, see, your re region just went to him, and he just gained brave from your brave region. Yeah. And so attacks with refunds will just exactly. keep giving him brave. <laughs> That was actually a very uh, funny interaction uh, with my team, Raw, because as you know, you know, Beatrix has like so much brave gains in between her kit with her Clem Hazard and even Rose Petals. <laughs> so it was like. It got was myself kind of into a pickle. I've got myself but, into a pickle. It goes away pretty quickly, though, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Well, you also have Zach's uh, BT. So, yeah, you're not going to uh, die. Yeah. Remember, Zach's an immortal while his BT is up. Yeah. You literally cannot die with Zach's BT up. It is not. You underestimate my possible. ability to die. Right? You don't know what Zach's BT does then. <laughs> <laughs> give him a bunch of brave. Able Raw, to you realize you're giving him brave. Brave. Yeah, <laughs> see, now, now, now the aura's gone. That's how long it lasts. That's not very long at all. If they, it, it's a cool mechanic, like yeah, it doesn't last very long. The mechanic itself isn't bad. Like if they if they were to utilize that in another fight, maybe that's like yeah. a fight that did anything else. Yeah, that could be a cool danger zone. Um, but like you yeah, said, I like the would, concept. Yeah. Yeah, like I remember we got a fight that like they got like a huge amount of brave like enough to like just kill you and then they do like a brave attack i forgot what fight it was i think it was gilgamesh's fight where like you see them get like 99 000 brave yeah and they yeah, just don't do anything just, with it yeah you're just like oh my god it's like an all attack oh my god my whole team is getting wiped and then it's like an aoe brave attack <laughs> i found that also be the case with um and a crow's fight yeah no, my gripe with Anna Crow was they have this attack that like it zooms in and like it feels like, you know, something big is coming, you know, maybe an HP attack at the end and it, it, it doesn't happen. <laughs> no, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. 
My issue with the inner crow attack is the, uh, the or fight is the sound that the book makes when it opens. Um, I don't know who put that into the game. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about, but the sound that nope. it makes is uh, unacceptable. It is like a like a wet squish, like some sort of <laughs> like squish sound. <laughs> Thank and, you for uh, that vocalization. Yep. It was and greatly I, I, appreciated. Right? Yep, yep, you're welcome. And I normally don't play with the sound on, but for some reason I was in a co-op, and I heard that just just creepy, horrible sound. Tell me in chat, Endo says I know. Um, uh, if you've heard that sound, uh, you may be entitled to monetary compensation, because that is like, I don't want to go into it any further because I'm uncomfortable, but the sound is 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 traumatic. Oh, you're gonna have fun with the sound when we get the six warrior beta. Oh well, yeah, six six warrior. You bring sixteen or six players. Do, yeah, do do? we can talk about it on the show when it happens. But uh, yeah, a little prelude is you get to bring six characters with you, like six actual characters, even with calls and whatnot. And it's sort of like FF10. Oh, like FF10, you bring them in and out. Okay. Yeah. All right, you have you three, did it. and then you can like round robin between them. I think it's like once per turn. You can just swap someone out for someone as backup. Good work, Raleigh. We're all proud of you. I can't believe it. Finally, I finally cleared this fucking difficult mountain. Feels like how I felt when I beat Elden Ring. Um, and uh, someone said in chat that uh, Zach BT is a Raleigh friendly unit, and that's exactly why I got him. Um, like Queen. <laughs> Like Queen, you just can't die. If you just he's even better because he locks them on and he protects he protects the HP damage. So, uh, I, anybody who can't die is literally uh, made for me. Um, I say, were you gonna say some girl? Uh, that fight sucked. <laughs> yeah, it was a. Uh, yeah, it was awful. Why did that turn? I already collected everything. Yeah. You collected your BT tokens already? I always do. I don't hoard BT tokens. I told y'all. This is not a game. I don't hoard... I don't hoard nothing. This actually is a game. I don't know if you know that. The, the, the anti-hoarding isn't a game. Um, uh, okay, okay, okay. I see. <laughs> we got an event in about uh, 18, 18 minutes. minutes. Uh, Irvine's coming. We'll probably wait to talk to you guys about Irvine um, next week. There's a lot to talk about really great really uh game changing kit uh but we'll wait till 80 percent blind <laughs> wait, 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 wait wait isn't stream next monday as well yeah oh is it so we'll have even more to talk about more yeah. global first fights yeah. more global first fights in yeah yeah, so yeah we'll, definitely we'll, 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 have, we'll have a decent amount of topics to talk about for next week yeah we'll uh we'll go over the new global first fights that they definitely going to come at the crevasse give me a crevasse yeah right yeah totally they're going to replace the six man beta with Ooh, crevasse that's a great idea six man beta oh, yeah. uh oh tree void yeah I, we got uh irvine gym pity for 25 subs uh we're at we're at 8 right now thanks to everybody who's subbed so far we will extend it to next week so the the subbers can still see me um uh suffer I I spent eight hundred gem eight hundred tickets and fifty five thousand gems on Irvine and only got his LB. So. Uh, what is his name? The the other guy Udina. with the gun, the long hair guy with the gun from eight. The, the sniper. The eight, Which one? <laughs> the number the Final Fantasy eight guy with long hair and a gun. Um, I'll pull for him next week if we get twenty five subs. We got eight already, so uh, halfway there, almost. You know, math third of the way there whatever um some girl do you have anything to say before we get out of here and let people go do this great event remember when transcendence was the best content in the game <laughs> like it was for a while for the entire lufania era it was my favorite content in the entire game and this sucked ass <laughs> it's a big and it felt bad seeing my favorite content be this awful. Yeah. Um, Mind Dive, 
What do you got to say to the people? You know, we're through some harsh times, guys. But, you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel. You know, next stream, uh, Crevasse will, uh, you know, be announced. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Crevasse, yeah, baby. Yeah. Six, man. And then we got Kieran, which, you know, is a toughie as well as Safer Sephiroth. So, you know, look forward to all that, guys. Have a good night. Uh, we appreciate you guys. We'll be back next week. Uh, stick around. Uh, we're going to head over to hang out with uh, uh, Chris. Chris5258, canonically uh, my favorite. Oh, actually, can I can I say one more thing? Of course. This boss, the Transcendence boss, had 33 million total HP between all its forms. <laughs> uh, Transcendence <laughs> 5, the mummy. You remember the mummies in Transcendence 5? If yeah, you count the damage you had to do to the adds, you had to do 31 million damage in that fight. <laughs> so we're literally going backwards. No, no, it was, it's gone up by 2 million since uh, October Phenomenal. of last year. Phenomenal. Uh, all right, guys, we will see you next week. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I think we're still live. I... Um... Did you click the stop streaming button? Oh, interesting.